My name is Eiko Fried. I'm an assistant professor in clinical psychology here at Leiden University. And in this um, brief video, I would like to summarize my ERC starting grant that was selected for funding a few weeks ago. The goal of the five-year project is to build a early warning system for detecting uh, future depression onset in uh, young adults. Why do we work on depression? Depression is a common, uh, debilitating and often chronic disorder in young adults. And contrasting uh, diseases like cancer, for example, where treatment efficacy have, has become a lot better in the last decades, depression treatment is still lagging behind considerably. We can only help maybe one in two people with depression. And that's why mental health experts all agree that the, the biggest sort of milestone we can have or we can make is to focus on prevention of depression rather than intervention on depression. And sort of the holy grail in my field is being able to predict reliably who will get depression in the future so we can then start reliable intervention programs at the right time or prevention programs at the right time and we currently cannot do that. And my ERC starting project has the purpose to closing this gap and trying to build a warning system for depression onset that reliably predicts depression before it occurs in young adults. To do so, we will follow 2,000 uh, vocational students and university students in the Netherlands for two years, and we will focus on three uh, multidisciplinary pillars we want to integrate in this project. The first pillar is measurement. In addition to traditional survey methods, where we uh, focus on asking people how they're doing every couple of months for two years, we will use ecological momentary assessment. That's a method where we query participants every day on their smartphone using an app, how they're doing right now. And the advantage of that is that we get a sort of ecologically valid data in the moment, but also that we get data with a high temporal resolution. So we get the temporal dynamics of how people are doing and how their mood is fluctuating over time. In addition, we will uh, look into collecting digital phenotype data using uh, smart watches. These are sort of more objective data using a Fitbit, for example, that you might know um, and you get information like uh, sleep, uh, sleep patterns, activity, sunlight exposure, uh, weight changes, and, and these sort of things. The second pillar is complexity science. Other scientific disciplines have had major breakthroughs in the last decades by embracing complexity. Things are complicated. And psychology hasn't done a very good job in doing that. And in this ERC project, we um, conceptualize depression as a complex system that is bio, psycho, social in nature. So we study biological, psychological and environmental variables. And the idea is to, to think of depression as a causal system where one thing leads to another and then you have a vicious cycle and yeah, off you go basically. And uh, the, the idea is of the second pillar to study how these mood, these complex mood systems of people evolve within persons over time. The third pillar is statistical modeling. And here we will focus on uh, network models to estimate these mood dynamics over time and on machine learning models to find out what set of variables predicts a depression onset in the future. When we're done with this uh, empirical part of the project, we will be able to build a personalized early warning system that we call WARN-D, where D stands for depression, where the idea is that young adults that then participate in our study uh, and use an, an app that we develop get a updated risk score for depression onset every single day. And so if their mood system or if their dynamics show any early warning systems for depression that we have established previously, they get an update uh, on their app. And we hope that this uh, step will be necessary to then provide tailored prevention, tailored intervention uh, in the future.